What's up, guys? It's your boy TPP, and I'm back with that true crime talk, baby. Let's go. Before we get going, guys, before we jump into it, do me a huge favor. Do me a huge favor. It's huge. It's it's big, guys. It's big. The little button over there, the little one on the screen that you're watching, the one that says like. Um, if you could smash that, appreciate it. Since the premiere is just dropping, and I'm sure there's some people out there that might enjoy this premiere. Can go ahead and share the share, just share the premiere. Just share it out there. Throw it out there. Let people know we're premiering this. There might be some people that want to conversate with us on this. And then uh, what's the other one? Oh yeah, subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe. And if you're one of those people that lack morals that keep showing up and stealing my content without subscribing, man, you know, guys, it ain't right. It's not right, you know. And uh, I don't know what your belief structure is, your belief system, all that, but. Bro, somebody's watching you steal my content. I'm just saying that you, it's it's not going unnoticed, okay? Not just my analytics that tells me you're stealing my content, but you know, somebody somebody up above watching you, bro. Just do the right thing already. Smash the subscribe. All right, guys, let's jump into the topic. So the topic for this premiere, right? It's that Zach Bryan. Now I know, right? I know it's not a crazy crime. But it is true crime, right? Um, Zach got himself in a little bit of trouble. Trouble he shouldn't have got himself into. And, uh, you know, I was going to cover this. I was going to cover this when it happened, but I was sick. And then when I came out of being sick, you know, we had the manhunt pop it off. So Zach's story kind of got pushed to the wayside. Well, this weekend, I had a few people reach out and ask me if I could cover and react to the Zach Bryan arrest. They wanted my opinion, my breakdown, my reaction on it. And one of those people that actually requested it was my youngest daughter. So, cool. And everybody else who, you know, requested me to do this, this is for y'all. So, I know most of you guys could care less about Zach Bryan. I know most of you guys could care less. But I have quite a few ladies that follow in the channel and a lot of them are country girls and or city girls that like country music so that being said this is for y'all i hope you guys appreciate it don't come at me for reacting the way i'm gonna react just before we even get things started I'll let you know right now i like the guy all right i like the guy but you know how i am i'm gonna shoot it on us on the reaction so we're gonna watch the arrest video i'm gonna react to that and then we're gonna watch a video that uh basically you know, he, he's, he's kind of apologizing, right? We're going to watch both videos, fair use, and stop, interject, do my reactions, whatnot. So, hope you guys are ready. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. Let me get this first uh, video pulled up for y'all. Okay. There's the video. Let me go ahead and change up the screen so you guys can see the video a little bit better. All right. So, there we go. Let's get it popping, guys. Let's get it popping. Okay, guys. So the white vehicle is the one that's being pulled over. And then the black truck with the gentleman jumping out of it, that is Zach Bryan's pickup, and that is Zach Bryan. So just a little clarification. Yo, and that police officer did not appreciate that whatsoever. His reaction was pretty quick. That's true. Get back in your truck or go to jail. I don't care which. I'll go to jail. I'm still Yo, what a dumbass. Yo. Oh, bro. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Yo, if I was in that same situation out here in Cali, not only would they oblige my request to go to jail, they would probably uh, give me a couple souvenirs on the way, if you, if you get what I'm saying. That was stupid. All right. Was it worth it? Wait well, this got caught speeding. I don't I get it. I, this is my second time in three days. It's my second time. Well, maybe y'all should stop speeding 
And then maybe you all should watch how you conduct yourselves with police officers. I'm just saying, like, if it's a recurring event in your life, you might want to check yourself. I'm just saying, I know you're a big star and all that, but you're still a human. You might want to check yourself. I'm just saying. Security guard, I'm waiting for him. It's taking, it's taking a long time. I was, I was just curious, sir. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to get I gave you an option to get back in your truck. You said you're ready to go to jail. I said you're interfering. I'll show you. I'll get I'll 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 All right. Truly. Go back I was being a smart ass. <sighs> Understatement. You were being. <sighs> You'd be more than a smart ass. You were. You acting high and mighty, like you had the rights to get out and and check on what's going on. Like you matter in this traffic stop. No, you don't. Absolutely, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, you sorry now? You sorry now? Hang on. Okay, sir. Oh my lord. Yo, check that out too. Check this out. Let's look at it like this too, guys. I know this is gonna be a little bit different a way to look at this, but now if you are driving in your head somewhere and you're somebody's following you or you're following them, they're part of your security detail or whatever, your caravan, you're headed somewhere, right? And they get pulled over. Now let's just say you had your kids in the car, right? Would you have jumped out and put yourself in a position to where you could get arrested and your children are going to witness it or not have anybody to take care of them because your ass is about to go to jail? You wouldn't. So what kind of pet parent is Zach Bryant, bro? Come on, Zach. You just going to leave your puppies in the freaking truck like that? You're going to jump out, get yourself hemmed up, and now your dogs are stuck in a spot? Bro, what kind of pet parent are you, bro? What kind of pet? That's not right, bro. It's not right, Zach. Go watch your mouth. You got to watch your mouth and think about the consequences, bro. And everybody that has to deal with the consequences. Poor damn dogs. You don't feel me on that? The real victims in this situation, those poor dogs. That's what's up. Record board. Uh, the truck. Yeah. Uh, sir, ID on you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what was your I'm just, I'm going to Boston. This is my girlfriend. I just woke up. My dog's in there. I shouldn't have said what I said. My name's Zach Ryan. That's my security guard. I, I, I got grounded. I don't know who you are. Uh, I'm just, I, I sold up the BOK twice last month. I wasn't... Did, did he just say who was Zach Ryan? <laughs> Yeah, that shit is so funny, guys. I love it, dude. I love it. I love it, man. Um, like I said, I like Zach Bryan. I like Zach Bryan. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I'm not just purely bash on him, but I absolutely love it when celebrities, high profile people, um, especially when it's caught on camera, when they try to like, you know, drop that name, drop their importance, who they are, like it's gonna affect anything, and then they drop it. And the person they're dropping it to has no freaking clue who they are. Or even if they do, just that response of like, I don't even know who the hell you are, guy. You ain't special. That is the best of me, guys. I, I love it. I love it. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not just hating on Zach. I love it anytime that happens when somebody tries to throw their weight around like they're special. We all human beings, bro. Get over yourself. I'm trying to get the Boston, sir. I feel like that was a good sir. You like how, like, the whole time from the moment the cuffs go on to him getting set in this vehicle, he gets real apologetic real quick. It is funny, almost like he's thinking if he could say sorry enough and, and you know, try to put off like he genuinely knows that he screwed up, then maybe this police officer isn't going to proceed with arresting his ass. But, uh, What is the uh, what, what's the issue with him interfering with a, a, my traffic stop? I thought there's some not too sure, but I'm the security. I got traveling with him, and I we just had a conversation. I wasn't sure how exactly was being. I apologize for whatever, but I'm okay. Well, he had no business stopping on this. I mean, I was okay with him sitting in the truck. But when he gets out, I don't know who he is. I apologize. Sir. Okay. All right. Yo, that poor security guard, he's like, first of all, I'm getting a damn speeding ticket. And second of all, now my boss is getting arrested because his dumb ass got out the truck and interjected himself in a freaking traffic stop. Yo, what a what a bad situation. What a just what a what an embarrassing situation that is, right? All the way around. It's like especially okay, so that security guard, right? 
for sure embarrassed you got pulled over, right? It sucks. We all fuck it. Any time you get a ticket, it sucks. But then, like, to know that your infraction caused your boss to do something stupid and now he's getting locked up, it just, it don't get much more embarrassing than that, guys. Childish. Swear to God, guys. Yo, who is he talking to? The bro, I'm dead right now. Is Zach is Zach Bryan literally talking to people or himself right now? Is he so used to being recorded that he's literally just addressing his fans? Like, what is he? I can't. I can't. I'll make sure we get it yes, sir. Like, why was he going for the wallet? That didn't make that don't make sense to me. Why were you trying to get your wallet out, bro? It's like hey, you're gonna get to that point anyways, where he's gonna, you know, get the full ID and, and the whole rundown. Like, what's the point? Were you like trying to get to that ID so you can really prove like, hey, I'm this guy? Like, I don't know. So it is insanely uncomfortable. I understand that, sir. We'll, 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 we'll change them in a minute. You may be putting them on in a hurry. That really ain't built for comfort to begin with. <laughs> they ain't really built for comfort to begin with. You know, if you weren't such a dumbass and made me throw them on you so quick because you put me in a situation, like, maybe you wouldn't be hurt, dumbass. Wrong. Well, yeah, you did. I asked you to leave and get back in your truck, and you said you weren't going to do it. Uh, this is the second time it's happened to me three days, actually. The second time it's happened to me three days. Bro, seriously, change your damn attitude, bro. To realize that you're another human being. Yeah, you might be a talented human being that has a bunch of fans, but you're still a damn human being. You don't get special treatment. I'm just saying, man. Well, because cops have just been, like, way too brutal on me. Because... Man, I had a coffee in the hockey. Yo, they've been too brutal on me, man. They've been so hard on me, man. Do you get the fuck? <laughs> Look at celebrities, bro. Oh, man, celebrities. I still like Zach, but come on, Zach. You got a man up, bro. You, you messed up, dude. You messed up. Let me finish up the original song. Let me finish up this one. Mm. Yes, sir. Can you please take these handcuffs off me, sir? Wait, wait, you let me finish up this traffic stop. I don't, there's no need to do any of handcuffs, actually. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Bro, dude, that's, this, somebody need to talk to Zach. Somebody need to talk to Zach. Somebody in his inner circle needs to sit him down and be like, now listen here, listen here, bro, listen here. Like, we all love you. You're talented. You're probably going to end up in, you know, Country Music Hall of Fame. You keep doing what you're doing. That's great and all, bro. But this entitled state of mind and behavior, it ain't getting it, bro. That shit gonna cost you some some fans. We all like humble, humble, talented individuals, good people, right? When you see somebody that you like and they're talking like this, it it messes up how you look at them. I still like Zach. I just feel like he needs to learn from this and, and drop that entitled attitude. You know what I mean? Like the world don't revolve around you, bro. Like, and when you mess up, you need to just accept that you messed up and deal with it. And now, uh, there is, because you made a fair with my traffic stop. Sir. And you wouldn't let me finish. I will. I will have. You will what? You will what? This is why people do not like police officers. I understand. Yo, come on, Zach. This is not why people don't like police officers. Trust. Trust, bro. You are 100% the wrong right now. This man's doing his job, doing his job correctly, and you impeded in him doing his job, and you put his safety at risk. You're lucky he ain't freaking twist you all up and put you in the back of that car nice and roughly, bro. Can you guys believe this? Can, am I being rough on Zach? Am I just being hard on him? Or you guys agree with this? Let me know down in the comments. For all the people making this premiere, replay again. Let me know down in the comments, is this boy acting entitled, spoiled ass entitled, or what? Jeez, man. Yeah, you know, I'm, no, I understand too, sir. 
I, I gave you options. No, yes, sir. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. What the? Come on, Zach. He gave the option within the first couple of seconds. He gave the option to get your ass back in the truck before he took you to jail. And you literally requested to go to jail. And him being such a kind gentleman, he obliged. Kid. And I said, take me to jail. Bro, I'm a 27-year-old kid. Are you serious? He did not just say that. Oh, shit. Oh, my Lord. He didn't. I'm a 27-year-old kid. Bro. Bro, you cannot. You cannot, right? At 27, bro, at 27, I had three children. And I knew damn sure right from wrong. Yo, you 27 got crazy experience, right? Got all this experience with life, traveling, seeing all this stuff. And you're going to legit say, I'm a 27-year-old kid. You are insane. You are insane, well, my God. You are absolutely insane. After. I know. And we'll let me finish up this. I will, go, I will get back to my truck right now if you let me have his handcuffs. If you don't, that would be a mistake, sir. Uh, he did not just threaten that officer. No, he didn't. Did <sighs> Damn it, Zach, you're making it hard for me to like you, bro. Because I was approaching this with an open mind, and just maybe you was in your feels. You messed up. But, bro, you're just digging it deeper. You're just making it worse right now. It just... <sighs> Yo, this is... T Am I tripping, guys? Am I tripping? Or is this 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 27-year-old kid got the worst entitlement state of mind ever? Like... <laughs> No, I know every high point or every sheriff in Tulsa. Okay. I, I, let, I let 40 of them go to my BFK show. You know, I know you don't get This is just insane. I didn't say that. Bro, let's use my freaking fame and the things I've done for other people, right, to make you feel like you're, you're messing up doing your job correctly. What the hell? Embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing. Like I said, I like Zach Bryan. I do. He's he's not one of my favorites, but he's good. He's good and all. But damn, if this is one of your favorites right now, if you're a hardcore Zach Bryan fan, I don't know. You might want to write your boy some notes, some fan mail, and be like, hey, you might want to work on that uh, too. I'm just saying. Second time it's happened in three days. He's cops are hand, truly. Second time in three days. Back to that, bro. Okay, guys. So that's really honestly the gist of what went down with it, right? There's, there's not too much more that really matters in that whole altercation. But damn, man. Bro, you can't act that way. I don't care who you are. You can't get out on a traffic stop that you're not a part of, interject yourself, be a smart ass. Cop warns you to get back in your truck, you're going to jail, and then you say, uh, take me to jail. And then you're going to sit in the car and run your mouth like that. Just come on. Come on. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. You guys think that he was in the wrong and he just showed an immense amount of like entitlement behavior. Like it's just unacceptable. Unacceptable, young man. Young 27-year-old kid. I still can't believe you said that. I can't believe you said a lot of the stuff you just said. It's like, bro, you know that everything is recorded in those cars. Like, how are you gonna run your mouth like that? Knowing that anything that gets recorded on that traffic stop, people are gonna get, you know. Freedom of Information Act, they're gonna get your information, they're gonna get the videos, and they're gonna they're gonna break it down and they're gonna clown you. Kind of like we're doing right now. Like you, you you had to have known better that that was being recorded and everything that you said in that vehicle was gonna get just picked apart. I I can't, man. I can't. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and jump on to this next video, which here's gonna be kind of like uh the apology, basically. Zach's gonna break down what was kind of happening and We'll, we'll just get into it. I'm sure I'm going to have some stuff to say on it. <laughs> Let's just do it. So I want to start by saying I have to deal with the legalities of it. I did go to jail. Um, I didn't play favorites. and um, <laughs> they, they didn't play favorites. Unfortunately for me, they didn't, they didn't give two shits that I was Zach Bryan and I was a big country star. They didn't care. They really didn't appreciate my entitled, you know, attitude and my shit talking. They just... They did it, you know, so I'm going to have to deal with these legalities, guys. I was an idiot today. Zach Bryan is speaking out after his recent run-in. I was an law. idiot today. Understatement. The singer is breaking his silence after he was arrested in Oklahoma on September 7th. 
Zach was taken into police custody in Venita, Oklahoma, located northeast of Tulsa on September 7th for obstruction of investigation, according to NBC affiliate KJRH. You know, like, can you imagine, though, like, you're a big ass star and you just decide to make the stupidest decision, right? And then instead of just shutting up and dealing with the, like the ramifications of your decision, you continue to run your mouth, right? You're literally getting arrested for the stupidest thing. And then you could have probably got out of it if you would have just shut up, but you couldn't shut up and you just kept running your mouth. And now you have to make a public apology statement for your behavior over something so small. <clears throat> I just don't understand like how you could you could, you could make that decision being a star that at that level. It just to me it makes absolutely no sense. But well, I digress. Let's keep going. The 27-year-old bonded out of the Craig County Jail per the outlet nearly an hour and a half after being booked. Shortly after the incident, Zach issues an apology on social media. He writes on X, formerly known as Twitter, quote, Today I had an incident with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Emotions got the best of me, and I was out of line in the things I said. I support law enforcement as much as anyone can. I My emotions got the best of me. But it was like, here's the problem, is he was in a situation where it's like, how do your emotions get the best of you? Like, you're not being pulled over. Your security is being pulled over for actually speeding, an actual infraction, right? So he was being pulled over and ticketed for an actual infraction. You were just pissed off because it was taking too long for your celebrity schedule. There was literally no reason to get upset to the point where you can't control your own behavior. Do you know what I'm saying here, guys? So... A lot of people are just looking at like, you know, well, it's just no big deal. But reality is, is this says a lot about his character, unfortunately. And, you know, it just to me, there's really no excuse for that behavior. That was like a jackass move. That's a jackass move that shows me that like this person has an entitlement state of mind. And usually if you have an entitlement state of mind, you're probably a narcissist at some level. And it really makes me question overall what type of person you are. But uh, yeah, guys, it's just absolutely dumb. My daughter is going to kill me for this reaction she is because I've went so hard on him. But I don't think anything I'm saying is off base. And like I said, I still like the guy. He just he, need, he definitely needs to grow up. Is that 27 acting like this? No excuse for it. I was just frustrated. He continues, in the moment, it was unlike me, and I apologize. They brought me to jail. And there is a mugshot of me floating around. Zach concludes. Yeah, you, know, you know, there's a lot of country singers with mugshots floating around, but usually it's for some country ass rebel stuff. You know what I mean? Not for being a smart ass to a police officer in a traffic stop you're not even involved in. Like, that's not rebel. How does that even? I don't. With prayers, we can all move on from this, and prayers, people know I'm just trying the best I can. I love you guys, and I am truly sorry to the officers. The country music star follows up his apology with a video detailing the incident, explaining that he and an officer exchanged a few words after his security guard got pulled over. I wake up, and I tell my security guard, hey, man, I'm going to drive to Boston today. So, to see the birds play. So, we're driving to Boston. We get, like, 40 minutes away from my house. We're going through Vanita. He's behind me. And I see him getting pulled over. So I'm like, oh, man. So he, I take, I go around the block and I come and I pull back up next to him. And I'm just sitting there. I didn't get out of the vehicle or anything. I'm just sitting there waiting on him. 10 to 15 minutes goes by and I get out of the car. I'm like, man, why is this? What, what is this? 10 to 15 minutes goes by. Well, so, you know, guy, you know, bro, traffic stops take a little time. They do take a little time. 10 to 15 minutes. I've been there. I've been there. But, like, what part of you getting out to see what's taking so long is going to speed the process up? That's what I don't understand. Like, what makes you think that you getting out of the vehicle is going to cause that police officer to speed up the traffic stop? A normal human being is not going to think that. They're just going to be like, man, I hope my own way ain't getting locked up. I hope it's just a ticket. Hopefully it's not exhibition of speed. Hopefully there's no impound. I'm just going to keep my ass in the car, though. We'll see how this pans out. 
when you get on the car, it's not going to speed this up. So what him getting on the car tells me is somewhere in his brain, he thinks that he can address the situation and make it, uh, you know, speed up. What kind of entitlement, guys? Entitlement. It's taking so long, and I was gonna smoke a cigarette. The cop comes up to me, and he's like, "Sir, get back in your vehicle." And I'm like, "I'm not the one getting pulled over." Please, like, what do you? He's like, "Get back in your vehicle. Or I'm gonna have to take you to jail." Zach notes that in retrospect, he was quote lippy with the officer, which ultimately led to his arrest. So I get, I get too lippy with him. He brings me over to his car. And I, I just didn't help my situation at all. I felt like a child. It was. Yeah, I agree with that. You know what? He gets some respect now. I, I'm going to give him a little respect for that because that's literally, he said it best. He was acting like a child. That was actually absolutely childish behavior for a 27 year old man who performs in front of thousands and thousands of people. And like, there's just no excuse. You know what I mean? So at least he's owning that. At least he's owning it. Ridiculous. It was immature. And I just. Pray everyone knows that I don't think I'm above the law. I was just being disrespectful and I shouldn't have been. And it was my mistake. Respect. After noting that he respect. And the cop okay, guys, I can respect that. I can respect that. So I hold firm to everything I said in this reaction. And I'm going to give him some respect because at the end here, he's saying exactly what I said. This shit was childish. It was unexcusable. Ended up shaking hands after he bonded out. Zach shares why he felt the need to make amends publicly. I just want to tell the story and get it out there before someone blew it out of proportion. Uh, I was just an idiot, and I'll take the fall for it. Uh, I'm a grown man, and I shouldn't have behaved like that, and it won't happen again. E! News has reached out to the... Much respect, Zach. Much respect. Thank you for being a stand-up a man, accepting, you know, where your shortcomings were, ex accepting your responsibilities for... Or act like a dumbass. That's that's how a man's supposed to do it. Bravo, sir. Bravo, young man. Um, yeah. Oklahoma Highway Patrol for comment and has not yet heard back. All right, guys, that's it. That is it. That is the get down with the Zach Bryan arrest. That is... Uh, what happened, why it happened, and hopefully y'all enjoyed those reactions, that breakdown. I'm sure y'all agree with me that um, that was absolutely ass nine childish behavior, but I'm glad at the end of it all, he, had, he admitted his shortcomings because that shows a lot about it because the way that he acted in the video, that was a bad look, man. And it, had he not come out and apologized the way he did and accepted his, his responsibility of his, where he screwed up, had he not done that, I would have had a totally different outlook on him. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a fond one, right? It would have changed the way I looked at him for sure. Even though he's not one of my favorites, I definitely hear his music a lot. So I don't want to have to hear his music and have this bad outlook of the, the individual, right? I don't think any of us like that. So uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I was impressed. I was impressed that he went ahead and stood tall, took it like a man, and admitted he was wrong. So, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction review of the Zach Bryan arrest. Um, yeah, hopefully I didn't make too many of you ladies mad. But uh, that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I got a live later coming for you all. I think we're going to jump into the Idaho 4. It's either Idaho 4 or Ruby Frank. We're in a deep dive, Ruby Frankie. But uh, either way, look for that to be popping. It is Tuesday, right? We had Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Let me make sure. Yeah, it's Tuesday. So Tuesday, guys. Look for a live later on today. I hope you guys are having a, a, a terrific Tuesday. That being said, it's your boy, the Pisces Predator, a.k.a. TPP, baby. Till the next video, I'm out, y'all. Much love. Peace.